and from sport and wellbeing. And today I want to take you through one of my stretch classes, which I would normally be teaching to you on a Tuesday lunchtime or a Friday lunchtime. Before we start, I just want to check that you've got the correct clothing on so that when you're stretching, we don't have any accidents and that you can move all your legs out to the side and also just check that you are okay to exercise. So if you've got any injuries or anything that may be aggravated through this class, then just check with your medical practitioner that you're okay to exercise. So I want to say a big hi to everybody out there and a big kiss to all my colleagues. I miss you all the time. Today I've got some props. So normally in our class we'd be treated to a little massage ball and a lovely stretchy band but I know some of you don't have those at home. So I've replaced it with a tennis ball and I'm sure everybody has somewhere got a scarf. So I asked when James put the shout out on Facebook that you all got one of these and you've all got one of those but if you haven't quickly whiz away now and go and collect them. I've also played music just for me to hear in my own home so I want you to do the same. So hopefully you can't really hear my music. I've got a lovely chill out music on, but you may not be in the mood for chill out. You may be in the mood for something a bit more upbeat. So again, if you've just got a minute to quickly go and put some music on if you want to, that would be great. And I want to say a big hi to Liz, because I know Liz is our fantastic person that's been to all of our classes. So a really big kiss to you, Liz. Right, so a little warm up to start with. And I'm going to use the scarf. So by using the scarf, we make a nice connection through our body. So we've always got the chain connected. And that's why I quite like using something to hold on to, because it makes you work your core a little bit more. So we're going to start off with a lovely little warm up. I want you to look down at your toes and make sure that they're pointing forward. And they are roughly hip width apart. Bring your scarf onto your thigh bones. Relax your shoulders down your spine and I want you to lengthen your head as if it's been hung up on the ceiling by a fishing hook. Now the back is drawing down towards the floor. So think about that tailbone being very heavy. Now draw your belly button towards your spine. So we're engaging our core. I want you to take a nice breath in. As you exhale, raise your arms up and keep that tension on the scarf. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Now I want you to feel that your rib cage is drawing down and we're not flaring up to the ceiling as we lift. So I'll show you sideways up. So tailbone is heavy. Rib cage is drawing down, the lower belly is drawing in. We haven't pushed up like that. Lovely. Just give me two more. Think about gauging that core, keeping that lovely tight band around you. And you're going to give me one more. Are you ready? As you come down, hold those arms in the front. Keep those hips centred. Exhale to the right. Just turn that head over there, breathe back into the centre. Exhale to the left, keep those hips still. Come back into centre. Stay lovely and tall. Two more. Breathe in. Give me one more. Come into centre. As you breathe out, rise up through those toes and stretch. And then breathe in, go down. And again, rise up through those toes and stretch through the back of those legs. Breathing in, going down. Got two more, everybody. Exhaling, pushing up towards that ceiling, up through those thigh bones, up through those calf muscles. And we've got one more. Beautiful. Come into centre. Look down at your toes. Tuck your chin in, roll down through your spine. As you get to the floor, Imagine your scarf is really heavy, 
lift it off the floor, engage through those belt muscles, through that lower belly, roll those shoulders down into that nice soft V position through the spine. And again, on an out breath, tuck that chin in, breathe out all the way down. Engage the lower belly, scarf is heavy, pick it all the way back up from the floor, roll those shoulder blades down that spine. Now this time leave your scarf on the floor, tuck that chin in, roll down. Scarf is on the floor, put your hands around the back of those legs, roll up. Open your chest, lengthen your spine. Come into centre with those hands running down your trouser leg. Come into a side bend, take that right ear down, take that right arm down, exhale down to the right, come back up. Now I think I've made the same mistake that I made last time in that it turns me around. So you're probably going to the left when I'm going to the right. Two more. Down this way, breathe out. Inhale, back up. One more, breathe out, down this way. Breathe in, well done. Take those arms, bring them round. Look over this shoulder, open that chest. Come back into centre, keep those hips still. Look over this shoulder, open that chest. Come back into centre. You've got two more, we're nearly finishing up through this little warm up. Beautiful, give me one more. Fantastic. Now come into those arm opening exercises, extending and opening and closing. Keep that ribcage drawing down, squeeze up through that lower belly. Give me two more, here we go. Fish and hook, lengthen, tailbone is heavy. Whoops, bit wobbly. One more. Excellent. So now I want you to roll down through your spine and pick up your scarf. Lift it off the floor. If you haven't got a scarf, do not worry. You can still do the exercise without a scarf. Bring those shoulders down. Now put the scarf across those hips. That is a lovely, keeping that nice and level. I want you to pick up one leg. Hold it there. Stand up nice and tall. Draw that tailbone down and lengthen through the crown of the head. Step back with that back foot and go into a calf stretch. As we're holding that calf stretch, I want you to press that heel into the floor. Now get that nice connective chain by holding on to that scarf. Feel those shoulders draw down through the spine. Now the weight is going back through the heel. Take a nice breath in. As you breathe out, just turn to one side. This side, breathe out. Same side as the foot that's behind you. Come back into centre. Keep a little bit of tension for your scarf. Keep those shoulders nice and down away from the ears. Breathing out, turn it and breathe it in. One more time, weight through the back of that heel, drawing through that lower belly, make sure there's no pressure going through that lower back. Coming up, exhaling up, drive up to the ceiling, up onto that back toe. Inhaling, bringing that scarf into the body, pressing that heel back down. Exhaling, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up and then inhaling, coming back down. Now this time you're going to stay up in the air. Breathe out up onto that back toe. Get those shoulder blades down that spine. There we go. Drop that back knee, just a little bit to open up through the hip flexor. Excellent, hold it there. Take a nice breath in. Now normally we do some lat pull downs, so let's try that. Exhale, come down. If you have a stretchy band, that will benefit a little bit more, but if you haven't, don't worry. We're going to go again. Exhale on the way down. Inhale on the way up. Give me one more. Exhale on the way down. Breathing in on the way up. Now come into a nice arabesque. Stand on the front foot, lift the back foot. Hold it there. Beautiful. Look down at that floor, tuck that chin in. Remain lovely and lengthen through that body from the crown of the head all the way down to your toe. Then I want you to come into a tree pose. We're going to put that back leg through and tuck it inside that standing leg. Put those hands on those hips, get that knee slightly turned out. Now you yoga is, you know what to do. You go up nice and high with that leg. I'm just touching the floor with mine because as you well know, my hip gets stuck sometimes. 
arms and we don't want that to happen. Okay, hold it there, well done. Now bring that leg back into parallel, come up onto those toes and stretch up through those calf muscles, lovely and high. Lovely, well done. Come back down. Now we need to repeat everything on the other side to get your scarf. That's like a spirit level. Keep those hips nice and centered. Tailbone drawing down, head lovely and tall. Pick up that other toe. Hold that balance. Engage through that belly. Nice and strong. Hold it there. Big step back with that leg into calf. Back heel down. Weight through the heel, drawing through the lower belly so we don't compromise in the lower back. Take that scarf out, get that nice connecting chain. Hold it there. Relax those shoulders down away from those ears. The weight is going down through that heel. Just have a little check that the toe is pointing forward. And then take that little turn and keep those hips still centered. Coming back in. Excellent. Shoulders down that spine. Let's go again. As we turn, exhale all the way out. Breathing in. Lovely. One more with this calf stretch. Then come back up to the top. Push through. Up on those toes. Drive up onto that back toe. Lengthen. Engage the belly. Ribcage draw down. And then inhale. Come all the way back down again. And again. Exhale all the way up. Ooh, bit of a wobble there. And then come all the way down. One more. I want you to hold it. So you're up here. Now drop that back knee just a little bit to open up that back hip. Get those shoulders down that spine. Now again, if you've got a stretchy band, you could pull it really wide into that lat pull down. If not, we come to the sternum and then lift back up again. And again, keep that lovely connection through that chain and really stabilise through that hip. Two more times. Breathing out and breathing in. And one more time, breathing out, breathing in, hold it there. Now bring yourself into a nice position so we can do the arabesque. Stand on the front leg, take those arms out, hold it there, look down at the floor. Engage that belly, lovely and strong. And then bring that back leg through into our tree pose. Tuck that foot inside, keep those hips square. Hold it there, relax those shoulders down that spine. Yoga ease, if you want to go a little bit higher, go a little bit higher. Stay really tall through that spine. Bring that knee back into parallel, come through up onto those toes. Good work, well done. Now I want you to come down, I want you to look down at that floor, keep those feet in parallel. Now take your skull down onto the floor, leave it there. Slide those hands up the back of those legs. Come into a nice chest stretch. Draw that rib cage down. Look over your right shoulder. Drop that head gently to the chest. Roll down. Look over your left shoulder. And come down. Take a lovely big breath in. And breathe out. Now stay there. I'm going to step back and I'm going to turn here. I'm going to have a mat in front of me. Now we're going to come down. So again, if you've got a mat you need, put it in front of you. Take a nice breath in here. As we exhale, come down. Breathe in. And walk onto your hands and your knees. Now we're going to hold in this position here on our hands and our knees. Bring our hands underneath our shoulders. Bring your knees under your hips. Relax your toes. Now I want you to tuck your tailbone under. Open up your sacrum and your lumbar spine. And open across the top of the back and the shoulders. Doing a nice cat stretch. Then allow those shoulder blades to come down and the tailbone to go up. And just allow that little sag into that lumbar spine. Then I want you to drive your tailbone back and slide your fingertips to the front of the mat and drop that head gently down and open through the top of the back and the shoulders. 
Then I want you to come into a high kneeing position, up on those knees underneath your hips. Excellent. Shoulders down that spine. I want you to give me that right leg forward to start. See the toe, then the knee. Get that tailbone and tuck it underneath you. Engage through that lower belly. Take those arms all the way up and feel that stretch through that hip. And then drive that hip forward. Go forward just a little bit. Bring those hands down here. Now tuck that back toe under. On an out breath, I want you to lift that back knee off the floor. Just going to come back a little bit, so I'm in shot a little bit more. Excellent. Now take that lovely deeper stretch into that hip. Engage through the belly. Make sure we're not compromising in this lower back. Then on again, on an out breath, I want you to see if you can take your backside to the ceiling and lift that toe off the floor at the front. So we've got a stretch on the front leg, we've got a stretch on the back leg, we've got the belly pulled in, and we've got the spine lengthened. And hopefully, Liz, if you've got a big smile on your face, hold it there. Back knee comes down, front toe comes down. Tuck that bottom under, come all the way up, and lift lovely and high. Now come back down, and I want you to bring that hand inside that foot. Turn that torso and open up that arm to the ceiling. So we've got that lovely triangle pose. So we've got that rotation through the torso. Tuck that hand in behind you. Open up that shoulder. Engage through that belly. Then I want you to come back into the front. Take that back leg, slide it round the back, sit on your front bum cheek, lower that back leg into the floor. Now take this leg, bring it into a little bit of a bigger angle at the front, and I want you to feel the work and the stretch around by the outside of this bottom. Bring this chest down, and take that lovely stretch through that side of the leg and the bottom. Now engaging through the belly, so you don't compromise in that lumbar spine. Stay connected. Come all the way back up slowly. Put those hands in front. Slide that back leg. And then can we push up into a plank with the tailbone drawing down, the crown of the head lift. Remember the option at the easier plank, which is with the knees down. So you choose which one. If you want to make it a little bit harder, engage the belly, bring the right knee to the elbow, and hold that pose. Breathe in and out. Step back. Go to the other side. Well done. Hold it there. Excellent. Come down. Bring one knee down first. Bring the second knee. Slide back into prayer, but open the knees into a V so we can get a little bit lower through the spine. Down it goes. Then come all the way back up, back into high knees. Up through and roll those shoulders down that spine. Take a little dip to the right for me, down into a side bend. Lengthen down one side. If you want to make it a little bit heavier, bring that arm over. But if you're not, you keep the arm by the side. Come back into centre. Down to the other side. Come over the top. Hold it there. Now we've got that other leg to do, everybody. So bring the other leg forward. See the toe first, then the knee second. Pull that hip through the front, squeeze your glutes. Engage through the belly and lift up a little bit stronger. Open those shoulders down that back, lengthen that crown of that head. Bring that body down onto that front leg. Scoop up that lower belly, take a breath in here. Exhale, toe under, lift, hold. 
So we've got a deeper stretch through that lower back, through the calf, pulling through the tummy, deeper stretch through the hip. On a nice out breath, I want you to stick your bum up in the air, take that tailbone on the ceiling, and pick up that front toe. So again here, I want those shoulders nice and open, the belly tight, the stretch through the back leg, the stretch through the front leg. As you come down from here, back knee comes down. Very gently. Lift that body all the way up to here. Fantastic. And then I want you to put that hand on that inside leg. Turn away and open into that triangle pose. Tuck that hand in behind. Open up through the front of the shoulder. Engage through that belly. Hold it there. Bring that hand back down. Slide this front leg round back. Sit onto the outside of the bottom on that front leg and lower into the floor. Open this leg into a wider angle for me. That's lovely. And then in your own time, work your way down so you're opening up around the outside of that glute. Coming all the way down into that floor. Take a nice breath in and out. Engage through that lower belly. So again, we're always thinking about protecting through the lumbar spine. And then come back up. Now we're going to sit on our bottom. We're going to bring our legs in front. So now I can come back and fetch you all. So from here, now some people find it really difficult to stay sitting nice and tall. If you've got a little cushion, just slide it under your bum cheeks and that will just push you a little bit higher so you don't get that horrible position where you're like that. And then everything really falls down through the lumbar spot. So I want you to really sit up and if need be, I want you to bring these legs into a nice diamond shape if you don't want them left out. We're going to come into a spine twist. So bring those hands together and bring your thumbs onto your chest. Shoulders down the spine. Crown of the head is lifted. The lumbar spine is nice and tall. And I'll show you from the side as well. So lumbar spine is nice and tall. Take a nice breath in here. As you breathe out, you're going to turn one way. Breathe back into centre. And to the other side, keep that lower back nice and tall. Keep the crown of the head lifted. Going to give me two more. Exhale, turn. Inhale. One more. Exhale, turn. Inhale. Take those arms out to the side. Show me your palms. Get those shoulders relaxed. Exhale, turn, so we're making it a little bit bigger, coming back into centre. And again, back to centre. Just two more, everybody. One more. And centre. Bring those legs out. Now this is where we're going to go with the scarf again. So I'm going to turn around, you stay facing me. I would like you to roll down through your spine, into the floor. Excellent. Now I want you to close your spine and bring in your right leg and bring in your left leg. We're going to do a little bit of work for those hamstrings. Bring in that right leg. Put that scarf under that right foot. Take that right leg up to the ceiling and hold. Just going to come down a little bit. There we go. Now from here, I want you to really push that foot away that you hold your scarf. So you've got real tension through the back of that leg. So exhale, push, 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 push. And then don't push anymore and just see if that leg can come a little bit. Close that back. Now this time, I'm going to straighten out this other leg across the floor. 
keep that back close there. And again, I'm going to exhale, push, but I'm going to sit up. Just there. Inhale, come back, and bring that leg back. Now, each time it comes closer to the body. Now, this time we're going to have a go at seeing if we can sit all the way up. So come on, Liz, all the way up. Are you ready? Exhale, push. All the way up. Up through that lumbar spine and hold. Now, no collapsing when we go back down. So I want to see that lower back roll into the floor. I want you to see that control all the way down. Control. And then bring that toe over the top of the head and hold. Now we get the scarf into one hand. We put the other hand by our side. We open this leg. We keep the opposite shoulder down. We flex. We've got that lovely inside leg stretch. Hold it there. Draw the rib cage down. And then you're going to bring this right leg or the left leg, whichever one you've done first, back in. You're going to switch hands, take the other hand, now look over that shoulder that's staying there, take that leg across it and roll towards the outside of that leg. Hold across the body so you open up around that SI joint, around the waist, and across the, over the bottom and back. Now we need to do the other side, so you're going to come back, but before we do the other side, We've got those lovely inside legs to do. Close that back into the floor. Put both legs in. Now slide those legs out. Now push that scarf out. Hold on. Don't let go. Otherwise your scarf will go flying through the air. Lift that head up. Look through the middle. Engage through the belly. Hold it there. Have those knees bent if you need to. Everybody come back down. Bring those legs back in. Now take that foot out that you stretched last time. Let's work on this last one. Bring that leg in, hold it there, make sure it feels comfortable. Close that lower back into the floor. On an out breath, push that leg, push, 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 push. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now as you relax, you will get that stretch a little bit more coming in. Hold it there, keep that back closed. Now we do the half sit, take the leg away. As you breathe out, push, come into a half sit. Hold it there, come back in. Now this time I want you to go all the way, are you ready? Exhale, push up, push up, push up, push up up through that lumbar spine, hold it on those sitting bones, hold, wonderful, and then roll down through that lumbar spine, Ooh, and bring that leg over, out it goes, opposite shoulder stays down, all the way through that inside leg, flex that foot, draw the ribs down, close that back, don't let this hip come up, Come back up, change hands, cross over, turn and look over that opposite side of that arm, shoulder area, got that SI joint around that lower back as well. Come back, bring both legs in, come into a little ball, hold it there. Well done, now pop those feet down. Now, the last thing I want you to do, oh dear, I forgot my ball, to so get your tennis ball. Here it is. Now, we come down. I'm coming a bit closer to you. And we're going to use these little tennis balls as a muscle release. So I want, first of all, bring your back into the floor. Close it. Bring your right leg in. Get your massage ball. And roll it up the back of your hamstring muscle, all the way up. Now as you start to feel any tension, and you might feel a little sore spot, work that little tennis ball in there. So again, you can carry on with this, you don't have to 
Just do it today, do it tomorrow, any other day. When those muscles feel tight, get this tennis ball and work it around the back of those legs. Then we're going to cross this leg over. We're coming into opening out the glutes. Get your tennis ball. Pop it under your bum cheek on the right side, if it's the right leg that's in the air. And I want you to just do a little move from side to side. Now the tennis ball works better on carpet or on a mat. I tried it on the wooden floor and it doesn't work. It slips. So put a little mat underneath you if you're doing this and just release around that right side of the glute. Then we're going to do the other side. So we close that back again. We bring the other leg in. We roll that little ball up to the back of that hamstring. So again, if there's any tightness or soreness, spend a little bit longer doing this. So we're just breaking any tight areas down in the muscles. Cross that leg over. Open up through the glutes. Get that little ball and work it in there from side to side. So again, just tight areas around the outside of those glutes. You can free them up with a tennis ball. And the last thing I want to do with a tennis ball is around that QL. So that muscle that's very deep in the lumbar spine. So again, you have a little natural hollow of the back. Make sure that this is not pressing on your spine. Slide it in the natural hollow to one side. It will fit in there, that last rib. There it is. Get it away from the last rib and then close that back onto the ball and bring that leg in. And then just do a tiny little wiggle and that will just get very deep into that QR muscle that can get very tight in that lumbar spine. Take that little ball down and take that foot down. Switch to the other side. Natural hollow, make sure it's not pressing on your spine. Feel that last rib and there's a little gap where the last rib is and where the hip starts. Slide it in there. Close that ball into the floor with that lower back. Hug that leg in and give a lovely little wiggle. So these are just little trigger points that can set off lower back problems. And I'm just trying to ease them out a little bit with the ball. So tight glutes causes lower back issues and that QL tightening up. So if you've got a little ball, perfect. Take it out from there. Bring those legs in. And I just want you to come into a lovely little ball, lifting that head. And then I want you to do a little rock to sit in for me. Come round and sit on your bottom. And while you're sitting, some people like cross legs, some people don't. So if you don't, there we go, dominant. Again, shove a little pillow under the base of the spine because I want that spine nice and tall in the lumbar spine. Take a lovely breath in, engage through your pelvic floor muscles. So it will feel really deep. Feels like your bum cheeks are tight enough. Bring those hands in. I want you to look over your right shoulder. Come back into centre. I want you to look over your left shoulder. Come back into centre. Now I want you to push these arms out. I want you to squeeze a ball between those shoulder blades. And then I want you to roll the shoulder blades down. Excellent. Well done. So come round onto hands and knees. And then I just want you to tuck that tailbone and sacrum under. Open up through the shoulder blades, hold it there, tuck those toes under, lift those knees off the floor, walk those hands in and very slowly I want you to come up to standing. Move that ball out the way so you don't trip over on it, come up, lift up some heavy bags of shopping off the floor, engage through the belly. Bring those shoulders down the spine, take a lovely breath in. And out. And what do we do at the end of the class? We say well done everybody. Excellent. Big kiss to everybody. Hope you enjoyed my class. If you want to pop across to Twitter now, we've got hashtag DYG coach and you'll be speaking to my colleagues over there. So if you've got any questions about classes, about what we've done, about any of your fitness, then please just pop across 
and they will be there to answer your questions. I'm going to have a holiday now, so I'm going to have an Easter break in my back garden. Hopefully summer will be out and I will be back week commencing 20th of April. So look out for our timetable and I will see you then. Stay safe.